Why the Sun and the Moon Live in the Sky A Tale from Africa Many long years ago, the sun and the moon were great friends. They lived together in a house on earth. The sun also had another great friend, the water. The sun often went to visit the water, but the water would never come to visit the sun. The sun had invited the water to visit many times, but the water always said no. Why don't you ask him again, said the moon. Surely he will come this time. All right, I will, said the sun. But when the sun asked the water to visit, the water refused again. You see, I always travel with all my friends, he said. There are so many of them that they would fill up your house. You would have nowhere to live. If you want me to visit, you will have to build a bigger house. When the sun told the moon what the water had said, the moon replied, Let's start building. It will be nice to have a bigger house. So the sun and the moon built a big new house with many rooms. When it was ready, the sun spoke to the water again. We have built a bigger house. Please come and visit us, said the sun. Are you sure it will be big enough for me and all my friends? asked the water. I hope so, said the sun. When the water arrived at the new house, he called out, Is it all right for us to come in? The sun called back, Yes, please come in. So the water began to flow into the house. All the fish and other water creatures that traveled with him came too. They splashed across the floor. Soon the rugs were as wet as the bottom of the sea. The moon was worried and whispered to the sun, Are you sure there is enough room? I hope so, said the sun. Do you still want me to come in? asked the water. Yes, of course. You are my friend, said the sun. So the water and the water creatures streamed into the house. The rooms began to fill with water. Soon the water had almost reached the ceiling. The sun and the moon climbed up onto the roof of the house. Do you still want me to come and visit you? called the water. He had flooded the house and had almost reached the roof. The house was full of fish and other water creatures. Yes, said the sun and the moon. They didn't know what else to say. All right then, I will, said the water, pouring out onto the roof. The sun and the moon felt their feet becoming wetter and wetter. Oh, what can we do? cried the moon. We cannot tell your friend to leave, but soon there will not be anywhere for us to go. The sun looked up at the empty sky. Well, we could always go and live in the sky. No one lives there but a few little stars. What a good idea, replied the moon, and they flew up into the sky, where they have lived ever since. <laughs>